Hello everyone, Luke for Smith here, and I've just come back from watching Jigsaw, which was, it's the last film, I think it's the ninth installment, I believe. I'm not quite sure, I haven't been watching them recently, but I'm pretty sure this is the last installment of the Saw franchise. They actually called it Jigsaw, just to like, cap it off, that kind of thing. Now, um, it was interesting. Not one of the best, in my opinions, but it had a few twists and turns in it, which I thoroughly enjoyed. It is a crime drama slash horror film, which is good, because normally I'm not really into crime movies, but the Saw movies do it for me, because I like watching them kind of movies. Um, the way it is set... You think it's happening at the moment, but really it's not. Um, but I'm not going to spoil too much. As for the um, gory moments, um, there was parts where I had to look, look away at, at some moments. But to be honest, with you, it's not that is it's not as gory as some other Saw movies are, which. I believe in the actual interview that they done with the directors and producers and some of the cast, um, it was actually said that it's um, toned down on the gore and violence and made it more comical in some areas because it's going to be the last movie. So they just wanted to have a bit of fun with it, really. So that that was pretty good, good of them to do that. That's why it wasn't as bloody as as the rest. So yeah, I quite 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 enjoyed it. The traps in it, which is a um, staple of the um, Saw movies, the, the traps. Uh, one of them was a repeat offender from the previous films, and some of them was new. There was one trap that I liked and I thought oh god this is not gonna go as as planned which is basically that um I'm not quite sure what you would call it. It's one of those things like one of them thick a giant version that you drop something into and it's got like these serrated blades that spin around really really quick. Just think of one of them automatic um potato peelers that you do the handle on you get the general idea uh, this one is meant to be for humans um, so yeah that was a pretty good trap I was very interested of that trap so that was quite fun um, yeah uh, casting was pretty decent the acting was okay not the best acting but um, it was a bit more serious in some elements and um, yeah there were some suspense moments and stuff some gritty moments the um, the actual setting where the traps was set was in a farm isolated from the, um, the towns and cities so that was a unique unique place to have it and um, yeah that was pretty good the actual um, movie in a whole was pretty decent. I quite liked the movie. Not the best one, like I said, not not the best one in my opinion, but it is pretty good. It is pre a pretty good movie. Uh, now the movie obviously is age eighteen and up. Obviously, gory moments and um, as for the warning that they put at the beginning of the movie. Uh, detailed graphical injury and to be honest with you the actual injuries did look real in that like seriously you'd think it was a real person in real life that got done because it was pretty good in that in that way anyway won't make this movie movie review too long i've been Luke for smith and i will see you next time